welcome to the latest show ever. The show that's so late it's early. I'm your host, Mr. Mask, and we have a very special show for you this evening. But before we get into the weeds, I'd like to take a moment to thank the ever-present Tom Nook for deferring my loans another few months. And a very special thanks to the friendly shrub seller and full-time sloth, Leaf, who may or may not also be a side-hustling exorcist. It's not some f conspiracy, Mr. Mask. Two nights ago, he hooked me up with an unpossessed gyroid husk, and poof, here I am. Wow, I would have never known. Did it also come with that stylish new coat? Eh, this sh was extra. Leaf's crooked as they come. He sells all sorts of plants. Oh, that, re that, that reminds me. I possessed a bong once. Talk about wallowing in regret. Nearly drowned in my own bong water. Throw up the video. It's actually pretty f weird. Wow, Coco. I don't know what to say to that. Eh, I like to call it a quarter life crisis. On that note, let's introduce our special guest this evening. Fun fact, his favorite play is Hamlet, and he might be baking me crazy with anticipation. But enough criticizing, let's get to it. Introducing Cobb. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Cobb. Welcome to the show. Whenever feasible, one should always make time for entertainment. I am a fan of your work, and it's my pleasure to finally meet you. Oh, thank you, Cobb. That makes two of us. I see you have chosen to keep the spirit of Halloween going. Always a pleasure to see a supernatural aesthetic done right. Kind of on the same note, you cut people for a living and change lives. So naturally, I've been following you on social media for quite some time. What are you, some kind of butcher? <laughs> a pig gallivanting as a butcher. Wait, do villagers eat other animals? Ah, what the f- Let us not lose ourselves to such existential pitfalls as early in the evening, Coco. Alas, I am simply an established surgeon. But, like most villagers, there is more than meets the eye. Mr. Mask was simply taking a stab at my humor. Pardon my pun. I love a good pun. I am the pun king, after all. Yeah! Really, I've been studying you for a while now. And I've always wondered, why the mask? You know, I give free consultation with the right amount of Nook Mile tickets. Well, since you asked, I may or may not have made a certain purchase from a lucrative mask salesman. And said purchase may or may not have been cursed. I'm not really too sure about that last part, though. I thought you got windmill kicked by that Shiba Inu bitch. I'm a firm believer that our scars have the power to remind us that the past was real. There's no reason to hide our true selves behind masks. In any circumstance, you can be anyone you want to be. Moving on. What just happened? The air smells like fish boom blah. A lot of articles have been circulating in Porks Illustrated about you and your many accolades. But one subject is still a mystery. Those distinct glasses of yours. They alone have spawned hundreds of clickbait articles and conspiracy theories. That being said, let's settle this once and for all. Are they real glasses? Or swimming goggles. I find solace in rumors. I learned so much about myself that I didn't already know. Well, everyone around here knows how much I love a good mystery. It is unfortunate that I must be the one to burst your freakishly sincere bubble. But I'm afraid there's simply nothing more than cliche scientist spectacles. I acquired them from a patient long ago. Drawing more or less... A therapeutic misadventure. Ah, shucks. I was really hoping for more layers to that mystery. But thank you for clearing the air on such an important topic. <laughs> I got one for you, Mr. Mask. Can you stand backwards on a flight of stairs? That is the most abstract question, Coco. You can, in fact, walk backwards on stairs, but cannot technically stand backwards. Wow. My mind is officially boggled. What the fuck? Nobody. And I mean, nobody ever says that. Moving right along, what else have you been into lately, Cobb? Recently, I discovered the addition of mushrooms littered all around the island. You might say I'm having a field day. <laughs> well, education is a hobby of mine. I can teach upwards of almost anything, primarily entomology. <laughs> Good luck finding a job with ants. It actually wouldn't be too complicated given the amount of thriving insect species. In a way, we do live in a zoo. Except the anamorphic creatures running amok in perfect harmony make up our entire society. You are quite right. However, when I go to the actual zoo, 
I mostly people watch for educational purposes. Oh, would you look at the time? It's the Wheel of Death. Let's spin that wheel. Wow, what a surprise. Is there anything you'd like to say to the audience and the viewers at home before you go? The tragedy is not to die, but to be wasted. Make sure to... Oh, oh God, what is that? I see the walls closing in on us now. <laughs> Fire up the grill, Mr. Mask. I'm making bacon. Looks like we're all out of time. Until next time, I'm your host, Mr. Mask. And this is the latest show ever. The show that's so late it's early. Feel free to smash that like button, and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Stay tuned for next week's episode with a brand new guest. Good night!